giant killer rabbits have invaded Nebraska. So? Well, um, uh, you know, <coughs> uh, it could be pertinent to, uh, uh, stuff? <laughs> Dear God! Yes! Wait a sec, we're not in Nebraska. Fuck. Tell me a story, Uncle Meaty. Well, there's this one story. Tell it, Uncle Meaty. Well, okay. It begins... Oh, wait! We already saw that! Oh! 
my bad. Er, it really begins long ago in a galaxy far, 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 far. <clears throat> oh, uh, far, far somewhere else in a place known as Earth out in the ocean. I trust your trip was all right? Yes, Gilbert McGonads. <laughs> Quite an operation you have here. We try to keep everything humming along, considering this space station is co-sponsored with the French. That is definitely a lot of diplomacy. I am sure your efforts must be rewarded in the highest way possible for all that it is considered, blah, 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 etc., etc., copyright 1986, Delaware-based productions, copyright LCD withholdings, LLC. hoo Uh, I mean... Yes, sir! Meaty! Meaty McMeat! A long time no see? Oh. Pierre McPuppin stuff. It has been a while. I'll catch up with you. Very well. Mm. Hooah.
Meet a McMeet. Have a seat. Sure, but I can't stay long. Oh, Yes. Business. Business that could contain the fate of the entire world. Business, yes. Well, you'll have to visit more often. It's been so long since we've had you over. Indeed. How is Wanda? She is... How do you say, all right? And the puppies? Oh, they grow up so fast. Yep. Yeah. So how is that sticky mix stick? He was stolen by a washed up cereal mascot. Oh, I am so sorry to hear that. It's okay. Can I ask you this something? Sure. Rumor has it there's something going on on the moon. The communications to Grandma Hadra has been cut off. Have you heard anything about this? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss this. It's just that people are saying things. There's rumors that they've found something, and they don't want anyone to know. As I said previously, I am not at liberty to discuss this, what I may or may not know about the current facts of the situation in the context in which they're being framed. I understand. Well, I better be going. Oh, what, Mite? Hasta la pasta? Yes. Send my regards to Wanda. I will. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Well, sir, I guess it's off to the moon. Yes, 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 yes. Hoo-ah! Johnson is supposed to be <laughs> here. Sorry, I'm late. Let's begin. At 0400 hours and 20 minutes on April 20th, a signal was detected near the Tycho crater of the moon. At first, it was considered normal interference, but after further probing, it exhibits some very atypical symptoms. At this point, it can either be an element we have not run into before, or possibly proof of alien life. We have assembled a crew including myself, Professor Sticky Buns, and several others to excavate and examine this object. We hope to have a conclusion into the meaning of this as soon as possible, but during this time I ask that each of you keep this quiet, including to your family until we know more. I understand this will be difficult with the rumors already spreading, but we simply must keep this under wraps until we can figure out what to make of all this. Well, that's about it. Does anyone have any questions? Can't can we tell our pets? Excuse me? Sp 
specifically Ernie, my pet iguana. No. Okay. Just you don't listen to Mr. Meat Man, you little, little, cutie, woody, pokey, ooky. Yes, you are. You are real pokey, ooky. Yes, you are. 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 Yes, you Turkey or ham? I'll take ham. Thanks. It all tastes the same, anyway. Mm. Mm. For all our techno kawatsit technology, science has yet to make a space ham sandwich taste like ham. At least it's something. <laughs> <clears throat> Indeed. Any idea what the goddamn motherfucker on the moon is? I wish I knew what the fuck the fucking piece of shit is. Fuck. Shit. I excavated 420 meters in all directions, and there's nothing to be found besides the block in the center. Any idea what it is? We tried taking a sample, but it's just too highly tensile a material. Nothing will chip it off. Not even a lazy, lazy robot. One thing for sure, it's definitely not of this world. Something had to put that there. What happened, Uncle Meaty? Well, in a fit of schizophrenia, the plot took a dramatic turn and let go of the entire story as we knew it thus far. It resumes in a park. It's Luggy McButter. Yo, 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 what's happening, y'all? Dog? Yo! Word him up, Brohim. He's like this and that and this and a, uh, this? Yo, word. Yo, Janitor Joe, what's up, dog? Not bad, matey. Just going to clean up some shit. Okay, see you around. My word for shizzle, my nizzle. Word sup 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 sup. Word to your mother. Yo, word. Your propensity for loquaciousness is astounding. <laughs> I ascertain your penchant for pedantic behavior to be extraordinarily peculiar. <clears throat> uh, I mean, fuck. Some, some. Tight. Whack. Who is your daddy? Word. Oh, that. Mall up my business. Bangin'. Baller. Crib. Coo. All up in my grill. On the DL. Drop the down, motherfucker. Freak. Fruitin'. He got game. In the ghetto. Holla at you, homeboy. Hook me up. I'm straight. Here's a house. It's all good. Jacked up. Keep it real. Dude. Fat Q. 
kicks. Left bounce. Go get your back on. My bad. Off the his. Snap. Old school. Open up a can of move ass. Peace out. Mad props. Shout out. Shut up. Slamming. Straight up. Sup with you. Sup. Word. Yo. <clears throat> uh, you been dabbing dough, yo. <sighs> Copy me, cupcake. Uh, shit, man. I hate that fucking guy. Matey McMaid. <laughs> Whatever. What was that? Fuck you, man. Fuck you. 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 Fuck you and the horse you walked in on. <coughs> Nobody walks on a horse! Actually, I think he meant that the horse walked in and the person being referred to was sitting on the horse. Ah! Yes, but let's not get caught up in semantics. Yeah, fucking horse shit! Yeah, fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you in the eye with a fork! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Dude, I fucked your mom in the ass! What the fuck? Fuck! That's fucking sick! Yeah? Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck! You! Fuck stick? Oh yeah? Yeah! You gonna stab? Bring. It. This is crap! Because that's what it is! Oh snap! It's time for my Pilates! I hate that fucker! No joke! Well really, uh, have there even been any jokes? It really depends if you look at it in a conventional sense or just a pure aesthetic. I suppose if one probed enough, one could find humor in almost any situation. Let's not get bogged down in semantics. Ultimately, I was trying to convey a sense of empathy rather than make an empirical statement about the nature of said genre. Save some of that for the sequel. Hey, meaty, you remember me? Uncle Artie McArtery. Hi, Uncle Artie. And I'm looking after Vinny McBentricle. Uh, hey, Vinny. I just got glasses. Indeed you did. We just came back from the optometrist. Did everything come out okay? <laughs> yes. What, what came out? Shut up, kid. So, uh, what are you guys doing? Oh... I just thought we would stop by and say hi. 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 Hola. You got anything to eat? I'm hungry. Well, uh, Ralph McMutt runs a hot dog stand. Uh, what, what, what? Did someone say my name? Ralph McMutt, folks. Stupid American swine! <laughs> yes, very good. Let's see here. I'll take a uh, um hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Excusez-moi. There, that will be a buck. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Okay, here. What you got there? A hot dog? Yep. Ah, swell. Yeah, boy. Are you gonna eat it? Don't you know it? You're so crazy. I'm mad. Uncle Lardy? Yeah, Vinny. I have to go to the bathroom. What? Already? I have to go. I told you, you shouldn't have had that second soda in Albuquerque. I gotta go bad. Hey, Meaty, hold on to this hot dog while I take Benny to the little organs room. Oh, uh, okay. I gotta go. All right, Benny. Let's go. Here, yeah, Meaty. It is 
Hi, Morning Mantis. I have come back to tell you something. Whoa, dude. Morning Mantis. <laughs> I gotta go real quick. I guess it's just me, huh? I'll freestyle. My name is Loki, my friends call me Loki. Give me my face a fucking rip your head off, fucking motherfucking motherfucking shit down your throat. Ah! Oh, wow, to your grandma! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> You know, I like you. You're a good guy. I like you. You know, you can get out of here. I'll let you go. All you have to do is tell me how many lights you see. There are four lights. You sure you don't see three? Four! I'm sure that there are only three lights. There's four! Tell me about me, day. When your life is in the pits and you need someone there, he's there, man. He's all heart. How many lights? Four! Three! Four! Who is me, day, McMeat? Coming to the theaters this fall. Meaty McMeat is back. Back to the hood in a series of new adventures, each more fantastic than the previous. Word! Tell me about your mother. Necessity is the mother of invention. How many lights? Uh, oh, four lights! Our plan is in place. Soon, when all the moons and crystals are in geosynchronous orbit, Gramular will come into being. With this power, I will rule the universe. Bartito! Yes. Emperor. How is our infiltration of the place that they call Earth? All is going as planned, Emperor. Excellent. Ho and about the Mona Crystals. All is going as planned, Emperor. Excellent. 
Yes, my liege. Oh, you're napping. Soon victory will be mine. Emperor? Yes, Barthato. There is one called Meaty McMeat. He possesses the powers of Moaning Mantis. Then... You know what you must do. Yes, Emperor. Yes? What is it, Barth Tato? Well, for the purpose of coherency, for the intoxicated, or just plain dumb viewing audience, could you elaborate more about what to do with this meaty mac meat? Is coherency really an issue? I mean, like shit, dude. You know, we kind of blew that out of the water a while ago. Yes, my liege. I understand. <clears throat> well, yes. When it comes time, we will signal the operatives on the planet known as Earth to make the next move. This will be signified visually by flashing light as such, and an auditory tone as such. And now, to begin the preparations. Oh, ho, 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 We'll be safe here, Moaned Mantis. Mizzy, I have come back with tumultuous news. Our current time is embroiled with altercation. Shit's going down, bro. Whoa, no! Meaty, it's up to you. <laughs> to save the planet. From who? I'm not sure, but something big is afoot. Bigfoot? Try again, later. Mm, Bigfoot? Sources say... Maybe? Dear God! One thing. Yes, Master Zorb? You cannot go this alone. With another, you must go to face this unspeakable evil. Who? Who? Huh? What? Something? Uh, yeah. B? Huh? Buzza? Um, uh, oh, yes. You will know him when it is revealed. In time, Meaty. In time. Yes, Master Son. Meaty? I have one last request. Yeah? Eat me. No, uh, really? The enemy must not be able to find out. You must do it, Meaty. Eat me. Eat me! I'll try. There is no try. Do or do not. Eat me! Oh, moaning mantis.
this hot dog, I will always remember you. It appears as though it is up to I, Captain McPoop Shorts, to save the day. <laughs> Crap! Will anyone save us? Won't you take me to the land of happy things In chicken wings where the sun is sunny The moon is moony and the sky is green Take me to that happy place Where everyone has a happy face And everything is heavy all the time Take me down by the river where the grass grows green and tall I haven't a care in the world at all And the windshield wipers sing La 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 da 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 Chicken wings and the windshield wiper sing. La da 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 of old people, yes we do, 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 do. and do. I gotta go wee, wee. Save some of that for the sequel. Ho ho ho, yes. Oh, hey, Uncle Artie. Mary McMammary. The young girl growing up fast in this hectic world, when for all intent and purposes, I appear to be looking after which probably has something to do with the fact that I'm a big of the fatherly figure in this flick. Hi, Mary. Oh, hey, booger butt. Hi. Mary, aren't you supposed to be doing homework? Uh, the school burned down, so, like, I'm gonna go to the mall. <clears throat> uh, what's that you're wearing? Are you wearing makeup? Is that a mini skirt? You're not the boss of me. <laughs> hmm. Huh. She's a good girl. I just don't know how to relate to kids these days. What with their what have you and all what not. Who hummery and their luminuma and hammering and deed, L, et, blong, bling, whizbo, e, i. The puttin' pop. Hey, what's that? Let's just see. What's that? Run!
an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in an enema. It's some kind of ancient prophecy, but what does it mean? Maybe Meaty will know. Yes. Let us then return from whence we came and submit to ourselves the mountain of knowledge we refer to as Mount Meaty Magmeat. No, Vinny, wait, you fool! You'll mess up the fabric of the space-time continuum. Oh, my bad. It's okay now. We can go. Looks like we're back. Back to the hood. Ho, ho, ho. Say some of that for the sequel. Yes. I heard the sequel's gonna blow goats. <laughs> Benny, where did you learn that language? Uh... Nowhere? Oh, hi, Uncle Artie. Hey, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hey, donkey fart. Hi. So that's where Vinny's learning that language from. Young miss, you've got a lot of explaining to do. And what's this? Why are you dressed like a hooker? Shut up. Like, I'm not a hooker. I'm sorry, Mary. It's just that you're at a time in your life, and I worry that some boy is going to take advantage of you. <laughs> no worries there. Hey, come again? She's a lesbian. What? What? How do you know? I have gaydar. Is this true? Why don't you leave me alone? Wah! I can't believe it. Well... It's not like she's going to get knocked up because she likes the beef. But, well, oh, kids these days, I guess I'm just old-fashioned. Oh, kid. I demand silence. It is I, Uther, the stage director. What was this? Things you were doing. But the musical. Was it in the script? Was it? <sighs> no. No! We do not have the budget for a musical. Hmm? Who will pay for this? This musical? But the fucking. Uh, but the fucking bunny. But the fucking bunny. I am tantamount for want. My boldest yearns for the embrace of a tender young lily. Just follow the script. Places, everybody. Meaty, hey, where's that hot dog? Oh, uh, I dropped it or something. <coughs> <clears throat> What's that paper you've got? I found this after being ambushed in the woods. It's some kind of ancient prophecy, but I can't decipher its meaning. How fortunate that you mention this article of information. The truth is, in fact, that I took a community college class in deciphering ancient hieroglyphics. All you need to do is triangulate the coordinates into this eHost Source Solutions Provider Pocket Field Translator.
Wow! I wonder what it could mean. Wait, I think something else is going to play. Huh. Meaty, you remember when you were just some stem cells? You raised me from when I was just a little tissue. Well, your father died when you were so young. Yes, he died. That is the story that I advocate. Why do you mention this information? Is it pertinent to the story at hand? Your father left you something and told me to wait until you were old enough to give it to you. Here, Meaty. The toilet cake? Yeah. Thanks. Really? I think you're old enough. <sighs> That's great. What was that? Nothing. You're talking to me? You're fucking talking to me? No. I'm sure I heard you talking. No, yeah? If you're so smart, why don't you create a unified equation of general relativity and quantum mechanics? Ho, ho, ho. Save some of that for the sequel. Yes. Uh, uh... String theory? <laughs> the testable theory? Yeah, the next thing you know, he'll tell us there's eight dimensions. It could happen. <laughs> 21st century ether. Yeah? Then go ahead and build a microscope that can measure a million billionths smaller than the ones we have today. Fuck you, man! Fuck you! For fuck's sake, folks, there's fucking children present. God fucking damn it! Shit! I'm out of here! Wait a sec! That tattoo! What tattoo? The one on your back! Huh? Here! Ye gods! Storms are coming! We need to get out of here! To the Bat Cave! Copy! Come with us! Go! With you? If you stay out here, you'll get ripped to shreds. We gotta go. Copy. Well, okay. My emperor, we have captured that last Mona Crystal toilet cake. And what the one referred to as meaty Mac meat? I want you to vanquish him personally. Yes, my emperor. Soon the earth will reckon to the awesome power of Gramular. Here, I'll access the internets.
there. Uh, uh uh-huh. Whoops. According to this blog, the four Mona crystals have been captured. The prophecy. We have to act fast. You have to go to the heart of all evil. Delaware. You want us to go into there? But the tolls on the Beltway are outrageous. I don't think so. It's our only hope. Yeah, well count me out. I only look out for one person. Cup in the cupcake. Me. Then I'll have to go it alone. There's a tri-county race. It's the quickest way to Delaware. If you survive. It'll have to do. Stay out of trouble. Copy. Say it, don't spray it. Here's your speeder. The race is starting soon. It's a treacherous path riddled with twists and turns. On top of that, there's a lot of dangerous people riding this race. The winner gets an autographed picture of Barry Goldwater. So you know there'll be a lot of competition. Sweet! Be careful, Meaty. Before you go, lower the droid, Mr. Robo. Bow, bow. Diddly. Mmm, Meaty? Yes, Vinny? I don't have any good lines. You know what, Vinny? If you put your mind to it and try real hard with every inch of your body and soul, you just might get the best line. Really? Straight up for real? No, nope. Thanks. <laughs> All systems go. Why, God? Why? (laughs) Bow, bow. Diddly. Meaty, go on. Win the race. Go! Bow, bow. McCupcake, you're Racer Z. You saved my life, man. I know. I'll go with you to save the world from the bad guys. Just don't give me any lip. Shit. Word. Now, if only I knew who the bad guys are and how to find them. (laughs) Well, that at least covers the where part. Let's do this!
Very impressive, indeed. Now I will crush you all. Stop! Be nice! There is something about him. And now I will mysteriously leave. What's that noise? A bomb! We gotta get out of here! <coughs> Jeez! Somebody has some sand in their vagina! What is it? I sensed something back there. What? Something... familiar. Matey, I need to show you something. But I wanted to go to Squashy Station and pick up some power converters. You can play with your friends later. I have to tell you about your parents. This was your father's. Wow, it's a plunger. Yeah. Uncle Artie, whatever happened to my father? Part of him died. Meaty, dead. Which part? Uh, the, uh, well, you see, uh, it's time for bed. But it's 7.45 in the morning. I sense inner turmoil. You couldn't do it, which is a shame. I had such high hopes for you. But it is no matter. My assault on the place we know as Earth begins. Your precious meaty will be killed after all. Release, Gramular. Begin the end. <laughs> Something's fishy in Tona Town. Fish, fish. Fish. I can't fish, fish. They're too red. Dudes running around. Sovereign Mr. Reese. Thing against. Girl Scouts. Look out for that tree. Fish. Why, God, why? No! Hmm, well, that gives me an idea. Mary McMammary, we'll save you. There's more! Quick, let's seek refuge in the mall. Yeah, that should hold them for now. That's gonna leave a mark. Have you no decency? Zombie poop. Come on, let's find somewhere safe to stay. Wait, Lungy McButter. Yo can't open up the door. He's a goner. No, a true friend never gives up. Lungy McButter would never give up on me. I have to save my friend. Sh 
Shit. You're a crazy motherfucker. Lucky. I'm so glad you're here. Yes. Let's find safe haven. We should hide in the place they'd be least likely to go. Snake Shack. Lee's Muffler Repairing Breath Mints. Farfic Nougats. KKK Mart. Or maybe the zombies would know that we would go to a lame store. So we should go to a trendy and a hip store. Barfies! Butt Barn! Multinational Globo Mart! Comatose Bills! Uh, Butt Barn? I know where we have to go. Debbie's Discount Mannequins. The perfect hideout. Mm, but no one's ever set foot in that store and come out alive. I like the odds. It's so crazy! It just might work. Quick, inside, hit the switch and lower the gates. What the? Huh. Wait, look. for some kind of evil ancient alien race. We've got to stop it. Open the gate. Can't let you stop them. Mind strong, buddy. We got to fight the insidious worm horde. Money, what's gotten into you? He's gonna come for you. There's nothing you can do. Who? Wongy, pull yourself together. <laughs> Ew! Who did this to you, Lungy? Con! Con! Let's do this! We're all screwed, man! What the heck in tarnation is that thar thing? You mean, what the heck, exclamation point, is that mighty creature a god or a demon, question mark? That and thang are no words at all unless you're a 12th century Norseman or a fourth dimensional gas kitten from the planet Lithgauschneebmorp. In the fifth lunar system, your grammar reeks as much as your soon-to-be putrefying corpse. Bah! What's going on? Sweet Stromboli, meaty! Look at the news! Breaking news, citizens. This is Don Overt, your spot-on anchor. A giant monster known as Gramular, summoned from Uranus, has appeared out of the bowels of the Earth, New Jersey.
Chaos is ensuing everywhere. Terror and mayhem have stricken the land, as Gramular seems to be feeding on people's poor grammar. Or poor people's grammar, or maybe poorly peopled grammatical entities. Oh hell, now for a live scoop from our on-the-scene reporter, the intrepid but breathless, Max Stoner. Dawn, the dead hand of cliché, lies stricken from the still-twitching body of the metaphor as the soul of simile floats like the mournful gas passing from a lonely bather in tepid wastewater. Gramular is his name. Grammar is his game. And mixing mayhem and mania is never... Sentences do not begin with conjunctions. Your life, however, will end with the disjunction of your syntactically befouled head from your metamorphically exsanguinated neck. Skulls will split like saucy infinities. Sinews will snap like the twigs of frail and lifeless metaphor. With the powers of the mana crystal, my force is impenetrable. Conjugate your verbs next time, assholes. <laughs> Well, we've lost communication with Max, viewers. We'll have more as the story develops, but one thing's for sure. When the heat of a story has my throat parched, and something unexpected unfolds, I know it's time for a frosty, foamy crap o cola Yes, crap o cola The... If there is one thing I hate, it's a run-on sentence. Enough of this paragogary. Oh, the humanity! Oh, the insanity! Oh, can't no one not, not stop this? Face the Spitzuxian wrath of Gramular. You will perish quickly. Perish painfully. Perish utterly. To all the perpetrators of poor grammar. To all the traitors to their tortured native tongues. Your time is nigh. Conjugate your verbs next time, assholes. Bwah! Oh, Rack, as a scientist, I know we must be impartial. But as a woman, <gasps> and an American woman? I know we must send this alien thing back to the godless hell which spawned it. Now, Gwen, you know if a creature is godless, it couldn't exist. We're scientists, but we're also Christians. So we know this creature, so unlike us, cannot expect anything but damnation. Mm-hmm.
U.S. Pan Research International Consortium of Knowledges, Dr. Mrs. Raquin Renard Dubois the Third P. McHersley. <coughs> yes, Admiral Claus. It's U.S. Prick for short, but we try not to use the words prick and short in the same sentence. <coughs> yes. <coughs> See. <coughs> See. <coughs> We're dying to analyze anything from this creature. The more we understand it, the sooner we can kill it. Goodbye, Admiral. Was that Admirable Claws of the... Yes, of the Salt Laker Dry Dogs. Dear, dear, he's sending over some gramulotic phlegm from where that poor little news monkey was beheaded and be eyeballed. <laughs> Here's some critter sputum for you guys to get lathered up about. I'm just Johnny, the simple errand boy. I've got pals in this town who don't know a participle from a pronoun or a gerund from a gerbil escaping out of their anal cavity. But they're my pals, and this is my town. And no one or nothing eats anybody here unless, of course, that's what they're into. As a member of the Meat Kingdom, I tell you now, Gramular, you want a stew? You'll get one, you verbal vegetable, you participle pumpkin. You won't know wrath till you feel the hot gaping mandibles of irony biting you squaw in the butt talk. We've got to stop him. I have an idea. We'll, we'll help. help. We'll help. Super awesome Super one time. Right. So what do you got up your sleeve? We don't have to go to Gramular. We can get him to come to us. What? Check this. Yo, for shizzle, my nizzle. Got my bitches in the hizzle. Bust a gat in your ass, fool. Ain't no crime to drink me a 40 in the house. Uh, for real? Wait, look. Matey, use power formation type Z. Right, power formation type X, Y, Z. Initiate super grab sequence. Call in the Calvary. <laughs> I didn't know you befriended the giant king bunny. Yes, sir. Fascinating. Gramular is retreating. Now's our chance. Right now. Moaning mantis. Grunting gopher. Is that the best attack that you have at your disposal? Wahahaha! I think I'm going to be sick. Wharf! <laughs> Morning, Mattis. It is I. You two know each other? It was many moons ago. Gramular was actually a nice guy. And we were both shopping at Multinational Globo Mart. In the chips aisle now. Oh, isn't that that's pretty badass? I'm in the chips aisle, and I'm talking to you on the phone. Yeah.
<laughs> I'm glad I got this thing too. All right. Well, um, there's Darichis, um, Rufo speaks, uh, Stickle Wickles, um, do you Stickle Wickles? Okay, well, and the fat free uh, Stickle Wickles, or uh, I did the plain as a butter flavored Stickle Wickles. Um, oh, ah. mm, let's see, um, there's a uh, nuts and bolts. Um, should I give me a package of nuts and bolts? And, uh, ew. Yeah. Uh, never mind, it was just a really ugly baby. <laughs> I wish I had a camera and uh, I'd take a picture, but, uh, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could take a picture with this funky thing, but uh, maybe later. <laughs> um, at any rate, uh, so stick a wiggles and a uh, box of uh, nuts and bolts and uh, go some uh, fatty free lactose ingredients. Uh, oh, cool. All right. I love you, honey, money. No, this enough. No, this enough. No, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and we were all sitting there. And she's all like, what? And I was just like, I was all skateboarding, you know. And she's like, hey, get off of that thing. And then uh, she's like, oh, well, I'm, I'm going to call the cops on you. And he's like, well, you call the cops on me. Like, ah. like oh my God. Oh, what a lazy bitch. <laughs> well, uh, You should put your hurt feelings aside and be nice. <laughs> Why should I care, man? Because I care. I care big time. I love you. Well. Okay. Barth Tato. Meaty, I am your janitor. No! Does that also mean you're my father? Correct. Wouldn't that, uh, be a little bit more important to mention? Yes. It, mm, whatever. No! I mean, yes! Uh, er, maybe? Hey, what does this lever do? You fool! That was a sarcasm lever! Oh no. Anything but that. How can we stop this thing? Oh, this is totally gonna budge. Here. Now you've simultaneously broken off the lever and sped it up exponentially. Well, we're certainly in a comical situation now. But how can it possibly reach a resolution? Dude, I don't even know anymore. Pshh. Nice shirt. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I am so interested in your thoughts right now. I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I am just so excited to be here. Me too. Then we are all satisfied with the current situation. I am extremely satisfied. My satisfaction can't even be rated. I will also express my satisfaction. Your words are like little daggers of happiness in my ears. I like to eat food. I as well enjoy consumption. I enjoy to watch cartoons. Those are my favorite. I especially like the ones with the pretentious dialogue and the cheesy motion tweens. Art at its finest is some dumbass cartoon. Oh no, we've reached a critical mass. Anything but that. Please. Oh, no. How could it possibly get any worse? Don't you mean better? Uh, yeah. Huh. I wonder what that is. Yes, I really, really wonder. Oh, I am so interested. Well, this must be the sign of a resolution. We won. Yeah. Did it, Meanie? No, we 
Beirut. French class.
show's over, folks. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here, you lousy bums. And that, my dear friend, is the story of where babies come from. <laughs> yeah, I'd fall asleep too. Fucking bullshit. Rosebud!